Hello and welcome to the video. So here it is, the big reveal. Today we're heading off to Baden Baden. We don't really want to, but we're having trouble with our battery. It's completely drained. Our solar panel isn't working, which means we've got no phones, no fans. I can't really film. My camera battery is the last battery I have, so I don't have any drone footage from this beautiful place. We absolutely loved it here. So we're gonna have to move on because when we drive, we do charge the battery and hopefully we can fix the battery problem as it is becoming quite an issue. But today we're heading off to the Black Forest, which is I'm quite sure if it sounds like a pudding or an aftershave I used to wear when I was 17. But we're gonna go and do what TLC told us we shouldn't do and chase some waterfalls. The trees here look so big. It's hard to get on camera, but it's, it's easy when there's like a reference point of a, a person. It's just spectacular. How was that? So peaceful being in the waterfall. I think that's why TLC didn't want people going there, so they have it all to themselves. It's interesting because Pete was at the bottom, but I was at the top thinking there is something about the sound of water. So beautiful, so peaceful. That is waterfall number one down. Now we're just going to put the final destination in, which is. Freiburg in Breezegal. But we're going to stop off on the way if we see anything exciting. So we'll probably just be in Freiburg in like half an hour. <laughs> battery update as well. It's now on 9%. So hopefully by the time we get there, we'll have enough battery to charge some stuff up. We're also on the last camera battery here. So if the video randomly cuts out. Little update. <laughs> we're coming off the B500 Black Forest Highway, the original highway. Pretty gnarly to be honest in our car and it's the weekend and it's 30 something degrees. So we're getting like long, long lines of traffic behind us. Hey, no, not all behind us. Just well, not now that we're leaving. Exactly. We think we might see it on the train instead. I know, I need a diet river. Yeah, we need um, a cold drink. It is so, so hot. But yeah, it's freaking beautiful. Classic British, it's too hot now. Too hot now, yeah. Spin you around. Okay, so we made it to Freiburg. This is a really cool car park. It seems like there's lots of other campers here, which always makes you feel safe. It's really hot again today. It's been like 30 plus degrees. So we came to Europe for the weather and as typical Brits, we're complaining about how hot it is, but there is a lake nearby here, which we're gonna go and find now and take a well-needed dip. Actually, I almost forgot the reason why we did this drive in the first place. Let's see if the battery's actually charged up at all. What are you saying for the battery? 45, promising. 28. It's not very good, is it? 28, not as much as I was expecting, but it's also not too bad. Plus, we've got some bits coming tomorrow, which will help us sort out the battery. <laughs> Always got food in your mouth. Six and a half hours full. I don't think we even drove for two hours. It seemed like a long time though, didn't it? Maybe we just drove for two hours, which would be right about 30%. I love Germany. Pete says I say this about everywhere we go. Lake number two of the day. Obviously, will be the last one, but. Yeah, not so many waterfalls in the end. We did one waterfall. Time to go for a cheeky dunk. Dunk in Valentine. Please, everybody, I've told Pete it's not Duncan Valentine. He's thinking of Duncan Valentine. I'm 
on a solo mission. We didn't get to see much of the day driving the B500 because the road was a bit sketchy. So I'm going to get the train today through the back forest, hopefully a scenic train trip. So I'm a bit of a mare. I went one stop too far on the tram and the train that I need to get only goes every hour. So I'm hoping I can get to the train station in time. Story of my life, really. Okay, I think I've made it. Two minutes to spare. So I'm on the train. Apparently the right side is the side you want to sit at. We'll see. Okay, so I've just got off the train in Zeebrugge, which was the last stop. I'm going to walk to Schlussi, which is the stop before, and which is a nice walk around the lake. And then I'm going to get back on the train to see the sights again, but from a different angle. So I was forward facing, which I actually think it's better to be backward facing because then you just see things for longer. Like when you're forward facing, it's like you see it and then it's gone. And I know what you're probably thinking, Loretta, where's your heart? Don't worry. She's here. Not only is it good for a hot day, it covers up my my dew at the moment. So yeah, this is Schlussi Lake. It's beautiful going through the, the Black Forest. You go through Hell's Valley. I'll tell you a bit more about that shortly. Um, so yeah, come walk with me. Awake on the floor, looking up, wanting more. This is so unreal. I must have been wrong. Cause your love is strong. Okay, so this road that I'm currently walking along between the road and the lake is part of the B500 road, which as you know, we tried to drive the other day. This part actually doesn't seem so windy. And there's a good chance we have to drive part of this as we leave Freeburg anyway. But yeah, you can see lake on one side, forest on the other side. How beautiful, like the lake, the train. So I live without regrets, but I do live with looking to improve things in the future. And one thing I would do, something I always forget, is to bring my swimming cozy because these lakes are beautiful. I think this one here, Schluss, is like seven and a half kilometers wide, about 18 kilometer round trip. And um, I'm not going to walk around it today, but I am going to get back on the train, hopefully get some more nice views of the Black Forest and then go off at Titizi and have a look around that lake. Okay, so it's a bit quieter here back from the lake. Run lake's absolutely beautiful. This is obviously where people come to holiday. So it's like everyone's on a mission. So many people get into the lake, which is like completely understandable. There's shops, restaurants, bistros, the kind of thing you'd expect. So yes, that's been nice. I'm just gonna meander back to the train station. So the train that I'm getting, I don't think this is the original one. They must have had like steam ones and even something different after that. Um, but it's called the Hollentorbahn, which basically means Hell Valley Railway because it goes through Hell Valley. A lot of people had to travel through there back in the something ages. It used to obviously be so dark and like thick with forests and I imagine it used to be, you know, people might rob you, things like that. Then if you go from Seabrook to Freeberg, when you come out of Hell Valley, the town, I can't remember what it's called, it begins with a H and that basically means like a heaven because I guess it was nice to see light again after going through that. So yeah, so that's what's special about this train, Holland Tobon, Holland Tobon, I think that's how you say it, so yeah, He's always there for you. Okay, so 
now I'm back in Freeburg and I shall fill you in my thoughts on that train journey when I have a chance to reflect. So what did I think of this train journey? Well, the Sheldon in me absolutely loved it. I loved I love riding trains. I just think it's spectacular. You don't have to do anything. You go through like scenery that you can't always go through. This particular train, I think maybe used to feel a bit more scenic because the train that I got on was like an S1 train. They almost seem like a bit faster, a bit more. It's hard to explain, but we're used to getting the regional trains in Germany where there's like uh, double deckers and you feel like you can really just relax on the train and look out the window and this train didn't necessarily feel like that you didn't get the best view out of the window I had like a, a line going across on one of mine or like you're really close to other people but it's so cool so um, I actually didn't feel it on the way up I don't know if it's because I was facing in the direction but on the way back down I could really feel the train so it ascends 600 meters so about 2,000 feet and like I said on the way up I didn't I didn't feel that at all so that goes from the Himmelreich which is the kingdom of heaven up to Hintersaten so obviously if that's going backwards that's you're in the you know hell hell valley and then when you come down you're in the Himmelreich which is the kingdom of heaven so that was really cool going down because you could I could see and feel like the the decline and yeah beautiful that it you know swings around like two lakes had Titterzy and Schlussi it, it felt like it should be a scenic train specifically a scenic train but it wasn't it was just a regular train transporting people but yeah I can highly recommend and especially at the moment obviously these trips are pretty much free in Germany because of the nine euro pass so happy go This is our final day here in Freiburger. Freiburg. Freib I think. <laughs> Freiburg. I um, absolutely love it. It's been my favourite place so far. What we've done every evening, there are whips us up a dinner. We literally walk 10 steps into the massive magical garden of a lake. Every single night is different. One night we had like some dubstep music being played. The other night there was like an Ed Sheeran guy. The other day there was a guy tight oh walking, God, tight rope like walking climbing. across the lake. Uh, it's a university town and we have stayed in some other university towns. Like I think Baden Baden was, but this feels like it. It just feels very like, there's just a lot going on. It's super cool, isn't it? We didn't get the battery fixed. Our solution has been to buy a plug for the battery, which are basically took to Starbucks and charge the battery there. I'm going to start calling Starbucks a library because I feel like I literally just sit there to use a facility. Yeah. So we'll end the video as we always do, jumping in the lake. And will you be jumping in the lake, Loretta? Yes. Okay, we'll hope cut to Loretta. I mean, Loretta. I might not jump off the bridge into the lake. I might not even jump into jump the lake. Jump off the floor. I might just walk into the lake. Is oh. that okay? Yeah, then if it'll make the final edit. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Why have you got all the bottles? Of course, in Germany, you pay. It's different for each bottle, but these ones, you pay 25 cents per bottle and then you have to go and bring them back. We don't have to, but if you don't, you don't get your money back. And we had no idea this was going on. We were buying like water in the supermarket. And it's only one time we had just the right amount of change for our shop, and then it was like one euro fifty more. Two pounds every five.